everyone, my name is Crystal Corette and I'm a part of group two. So there are of course many challenges in classifying research design. As discussed in Dr. Scotch's videos, we in biomedical informatics often deal with studies that aren't quite clear cut in uh, which classification they fall on, under. So it's important to understand the similarities and the differences of these different research designs, even if they do overlap a little bit. So this week, what I found the most challenging when doing this project was understanding if two different groups were truly randomized to give a valid study. So for example, the paper that I focused on was regarding research for a drug to treat patients that had active ulcerative colitis. So patients were randomly assigned to either receive the drug intravenously for about two weeks or to receive a placebo based on use of uh, immunosuppressive agents or TNF agonists, uh, two drugs that they might have already been taking. So patients were then randomly assigned to receive a placebo or receive the drug every eight or every four weeks for a year, for 52 weeks. So when trying to understand this study and classify this research design, I found it difficult, and I feel that others in my group did too, to understand these methodologies and um, if these different randomizations were truly random. And this demonstrates an example to me of randomization with limits based on patient safety, because of course the researchers could not put patients at risk based on um, their medical history or drugs that they were already taking for other conditions that could potentially cause interactions. Uh, but to me, that made me wonder how we can best put these two together and understand um, how sorting patients into different groups randomly might be affected by these different drugs that they had already been taking.